Hello everybody. Alright, so welcome back. If you're new, thanks for joining. Hope you stay. Any questions, let me know. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you. Let me know how your day is going. Alright, so this is a new Uber Chick Beauty. Oh my goodness. Uber Chick Beauty. Um, what a wonderful wonderful world plate oh my goodness it just came out um like a week or two ago and then it comes with the black one as well so you can put it on your nails and you can see so you always want to take the blue off uh, before you stamp so on my nails i have salon perfect look how old the bottle is and that's a funny story. I'll have to tell you sometime. Um, this one is Salsa Dance. It's just a red. Really pretty. And China Glaze. Eco Glaze. It's all plant-based. And this is Gardenia Dreams. I've got on three nails. And I was going to do this color. But then I switched my design. So now i got to take that off. But it's really pretty. It's under the Tuscan Sun. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was only one coat. Um, this is sitting on my desk. I'm using these magnetic polishes next. I'm so excited. They're beautiful. I don't know if you saw my other video with, um, nail mail, but these are magnetic cat eye polishes and they're so much fun. All right. So they're just sitting on my desk right off to the side and I can see them and they're beautiful. Okay. So shaking up this nail art barrier which I don't think I need actually because again I was changing design so now I'm doing I'm going to do a sunflower design actually yes we do need it on one because now I'm switching it again so I'm going to put it on my middle nail which is one of the three white ones. Ooh, and I'm getting in everywhere. So now I have to find <clears throat> a different plate. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm just getting it everywhere. Okay. I'm going to find a different plate to go with this. So hold on. Holy crap, that took me forever to find. Okay. It was not in the right spot. This, so this is Uber Chick Beauty. Um, I also got this on one of the sales. I have plaid plates, but I like to have them from different companies. Um, I don't know why. I just like using things together. So this one is pretty in plaid number four. I think I have other ones too. So definitely going to use this one. So you have to take the blue off. And there's two on this one. So if you get <clears throat> two... Then take both off. Oh my goodness. I'm trying not to ruin my nails because I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take it off so then I can just have this on my nails. Okay. So first off, and that's what it looks like. Super, super cute. Um... First off, so the designs I'm going to do is the sunflower. I like this one. It has a little heart in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. And then the other one is just regular. I believe I'm going to do this long one. Kind of like that on my nail. Because I like the leaves. And I like these ones that are turned too but that can be a different one i really like the heart because if you know me i love my hearts <clears throat> but i'm excited to use these leaves too that's gonna be fun all right so you need a stamper which i'm trying to find okay and then i think i'm gonna do black stamping polish so over chick beauty this is pure black 
and give it a shake. Okay, and then... Oh, and you know what? I have... Um, I have this stamper from Uber Chick Beauty that I was using like crazy. It's this plasticky one. It's really, really cool. So I think I'm going to use that for a little while. Alright, so you want to apply the polish. Set that over there. And then you want to pick up like so. And I'm going to have to check that middle piece because I think that's supposed to be all black. So if it is, I'm just going to like dot that in. So you can see on the plate, that little middle piece is supposed to be black. So <clears throat> when I'm painting this in, I am going to be... Um, I will put black on that. Okay, so let me get this extra stuff off. Um, I'm just using this blue thing because for some reason I don't know where my tape is. I swear my kids love to play with tape. They make everything out of tape. That's okay because it's sticky and why not? All right, and then using this. I need a tiny, tiny little dot of black. So just barely touching that. So now that's filled in like it's supposed to. And since I have red, I'm going to incorporate red because some, some sunflowers are red with the yellowy orange. Um, and I'm going to use Clear Jelly Stamper 96 for that. And then Uber Chick Beauty's um, Lazy Little Bumblebee for the other part. And then I need a green. So we'll do all of you. Uber Chick Beauty. I have, I thought I had a red. I have all of the Uber Chick Beauty polishes, stamping one. I think this is the closest it, it gets to red. So hopefully they come out with a pure red. All right. So that's why I'm using the clear jelly stamper one. So getting that, using the Maniology dotting tool and brush, and then just barely going on the leaves because I want the yellow to be on the outside. So just kind of going around like this oh and then you know what I think we need we need a brown as well so let me get brown but that's what it looks like so far so for the brown I have you had me at chocolate I'm gonna set that over here and just get a little dot of that one. And I love sunflowers. And I don't know if you guys watched my other video, like I said, with the nail mill for the other polishes. But I mentioned that I got a new kitten. And, <clears throat> oops, I'm pretty sure it's a boy. She is really, really little. Or a a girl geez um we found her under a vehicle at my parents house um, I know they're divorced but my mom is staying out in the motorhome and uh, my dad moved one of his cars and my kids were over there playing with grandma and they found her um, so we waited and looked to see if a mama would come out looking and we looked for other baby kittens. There wasn't any. So we were kind of like confused. Um, there's like a lot of bald eagles and coyotes and stuff. So anyways, we decided to take her home 
and we've been bottle feeding her. She's doing so good, getting big, but still tiny. I think she's probably like, I'm guessing two to three weeks, two weeks maybe. Um, so that's what it looks like so far. I'm so excited. Um, she's already using the litter box because I've been trying to train her. And, um, yeah, uh, I named her sun, I named her sunflower, sunny if it turns out to be a boy. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, it looks like a girl. Um, but my mom has a whole bunch of sunflowers that she started growing when she had her garden. So they picked me a bunch of sunflowers. And then when I got there, they showed me the kitten. And then when we decided, um... We decided to name her Sunflower, so, yeah, that's how she got her name. She's super cute. I'll have to put a picture in if you didn't see the other video. She's an orange cat. They definitely have my heart. My very first cat was a big, puffy orange cat, so super special to me. All right, there it is. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Although, I think I need to do the stem. I'll grab brown. Even though they're green. But I had some green mixed on there, so it kind of got mixed in. And actually, I think I'm going to put a little bit more red on there. Just to kind of brighten it out a little on that yellow. Let's see. All right, so there's that so far. I'm gonna set that there to dry. And then <clears throat> for this nail that we put the latex on, I'm going to do some plaid, if you didn't guess. So, putting the red here, and it has little arrows to show you, or you can just mix and match however you like. I am grabbing my clear jelly stamper and scraping that and then applying to my nail and I gotta clean it oh look here's this let's see does that work look at that okay I noticed I got black on my nail though oh no it was just fuzz okay and then we need to get this one. I think I'm going to do black, maybe. Let's see. I'm going to have the sunflower outline in black. Maybe I'll do a thinner piece. I'll do, I'll try yellow. Actually, no, because that reminds me of ketchup and mustard. So, <laughs> ketchup and mustard. I think I'll do black. Although that reminds me of Christmas. Oh my gosh. See, I'm getting so confused right now. We'll do black. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to actually do this one down here. So get those. It's so funny. I can't decide on the color because they're reminding me of different holidays. And then you line it up, press down like that and then I think I am gonna do one more like little one maybe maybe grab like this little line there and I will do that one in here let's get the let's get the sunflower on <clears throat> and maybe that will help. So I'm just going to do a sticky base to help apply it some more. Let that kind of dry for a second. I wonder if green, but see, again, I'm thinking Christmas colors or maybe the brown. We'll see what it looks like if you can see enough of the brown because that's dry. Or maybe just leave it. Let's see. Okay. So now, making sure that's there, 
and pressing down and then lifting so you definitely can't see a lot of the brown but you can see the green and I like the yellow and I'm so scared oh you know what here let's do it to my thumb because then we can really see because that's usually what I do my tests on so let me do that real quick I'll be right back okay so I tested it on my thumb and I did a little bit of the yellow but I'm settled on just the black and the red so I'm going to remove the latex and clean up real quick all right so I'm going to use the smudge free top coat for these ones and then the other nails, I'm going to do um, cuticula. All right, so I finished the top coat, and this is what it looks like. I kind of do like the yellow, so you can just play with colors. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I like how it came out. So I might do some matte top coat to see as well, because I love matte but we we shall see so anyways let me know if you're gonna try this um or if you have tried it if you like sunflowers i love sunflowers so all right see you later bye